Hello everybody and welcome back to another Mountain View Soap Co. video. My name is Hannah and today we are going to be making my North Pole Reindeer Soap. I wanted to start this video off a little bit differently because I love the way that brown mica looks in just oils. So I decided to do a little slow-mo of it because the lighting was decent enough to actually capture what I wanted to capture. And I also wanted to share with you a little bit about the soap because there is a little story behind it. So I wanted to make a reindeer soap last year but never got around to doing it successfully. And I also didn't want to hand mold the horns. As you guys know, I do a lot of soap dough molding in, within my soaps and that takes up a ton of time. The Grinches and the Maxes themselves took up a whole bunch of time of my preparing for this release so I wanted to make my soaps as simple as possible for the ones that didn't include too too much molding. This reindeer soap in particular was actually never supposed to be made. I saw my friend Sabrina from rub dub Soapery share on her Instagram stories her reindeer soap and she shared with me that her little embeds for the the horns were actually cookie cutters that she got on Etsy. So I asked her to share with me the listing and I went ahead and I bought those cute little cookie cutters because my original intention was making a wax melt mix out of them for my Mary Grinchmas uh, wax melt mix, which I definitely did. And there are little, you know, max horns inside of the wax melt mix. But when I saw them and they actually came in, I was so in love with them. I knew I had to make a soap. So that is where we are now. We are currently making that soap, which came into fruition, fruition and design wise came to me in a day. I wanted to make sure that I kept this super simple. And if you remember, when I was talking to you guys while making my gnome soap, that soap, I mentioned that I had to mix the red and um, another version of soap together That because I ran out of that red trial by fire. I made a soap cane out of that. This is where the soap cane went. So I made three individual little red soap canes and I put them right smack in the middle and I used a heart soap cane and the reason for that was just because I wanted to make it different and I thought a heart would be really cute for like a little Rudolph red nose and the top is very simple as well I'm using the what I like to call like whipped cream frosting type of a tip with a small bit of honey blush mica from nurture soap and then I have cute little the horns and then little ears that go with it and I really like the way that this turned out. Um, so far, everybody that's seen it has really enjoyed it as well, which is really, really exciting. So I'm really excited to show you guys and hear what you guys think about it. Like I said, it's super simple, but it's one of those soaps that I kind of just had to make, which it's really exciting to me that I had that opportunity to do that here. So basically my process with this was I was going to mix the, or measure out, I should say, because I already had everything mixed, but measure out the halfway point, stick those embeds in, and then pour the soap over it. And then obviously I waited for it to set up, and then I started doing my soap frosting. This soap in particular was one that I decided to not add glitter on, mainly because I have glitter on a lot of my other soaps, and I decided that it would look better without glitter, so I went sans glitter this time, and I'm really happy with the way that the soap dough actually firmed up. When I first cut them, I actually ended up breaking one of the horns off when I was putting them on the curing rack, so I just kept that bar for myself, but I was really worried about packaging them with shrink wrap and stuff like that, but turns out, it, they actually firmed up really, really nicely, and they're holding up super, super well. I am shipping them with bubble wrap, though, just to make sure, unless it's a box. If it's a box, then I'm just putting a lot of uh, crinkle paper around it, but I'm trying really hard to make sure that it gets to you guys and gets to their uh, destinations correctly and not broken. So here are, is a look at what those soap canes are. They are super cute, and the mold that I got was actually from my mom. She got it for me for Christmas last year, and um, she actually got it for me early. It wasn't actually for Christmas, but she got it for me early as an early Christmas present, and I made my Grinch soap with it last year, 
and last year my Grinch soap looked nothing like the Grinch soap that I made this year. Last year it was just a green soap base with a little heart. It wasn't frosted or anything crazy like that. It was very, very simple. So once I waited for it to set up a little bit, I really wanted to make sure there wasn't gonna be any issues. One of the things that I noticed though, which you'll see when I cut it, is the bottom layer is very, very, very smooth. And I think the reason for that is because I actually stick blended that layer separately. And then as I went to pour the top layer, I didn't stick blend it because it had already thickened up quite a bit and I wanted to make sure the top was smooth. With that, there are some like little holes for where the bubbles were when I cut. So that was really interesting to me and an interesting find because as you know, as I've been talking about on the channel recently, I've been trying to figure out what I did differently with the Grinch soap to make it a no bubble soap so that I can continue to do that in the future. Speaking of soap making and stuff like that, I have two things that I want to talk to you guys about before I let you go. So the first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is I am going to be doing another version of Instagram Picks My Soap. I have grown considerably on Instagram and on YouTube since the last one that I did, so I really wanted to do something fun like that and give more people the opportunity to vote on the polls. So if you aren't already following me over on Instagram, head over there because within the next week and a half, two weeks, I'm going to be posting those video um not those videos the poll for that and i want to make sure that as many people have the opportunity to vote as possible i'm going to try to do it a little bit differently than what i did last time so it's not just the same video over and over and over again but i'm really excited because i'm hopefully either going to put a holiday spin on it or put some sort of different themed type of a spin so it's exciting for everybody the second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is just simply what do you want to see next from Mountain View Soap? I don't really talk to you guys and ask you that question very often, but I am currently planning my releases and I am trying to figure out what you guys would like to see next or really what I should even do next. So if you haven't already heard, I am going to only be doing six releases next year. The first release is going to be small, but the other five are going to be rather big because I'm only doing six. This is not only going to give me more time to create products, but it's also going to give me more time to be creative and create the best products and more of those products as like as possible so for example everybody interested in the harry potter soap that harry potter soap is going to be coming back in may with my movies collection there will be more information on that later i'm going to be doing a really fun giveaway hopefully um, this is all completely unofficial nothing is set in stone yet <laughs> but i would like to do a small release at the beginning of february that way i'm not just waiting until march to release soap and i also need something to work on <laughs> So I wanted to know what you guys would like to see from Mountain View Soap next. So if you haven't already, head down to the description box to let me know what you would like to see. If there's a specific theme, a specific soap, a specific scent, anything like that, let me know. And I would be happy to try and figure out a way to make that collection a thing. I do have ideas if you guys don't, you know, give me any suggestions or anything like that. But I wanted to open it up and see if you did have any ideas. So this is what it kind of looks like. It's hard to see not cut, um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it for you now so you can kind of get a little sneak peek at what we're looking at here. And I also wanted to wish everybody a, you know, happy Thanksgiving. If you are celebrating Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas. If you come to my channel once and never see me again, happy Hanukkah, happy all of those holiday things. I, um, I'm going to try to stay steady with posting through the holidays in the new year, but I can't make promises. This is what that bar looks like on the inside, and as you can see, there is a difference in line between where I put the layers. I still think it's so cute, though, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> Uh, my mom saw it, and when she came, she helped me package soap. She's like, this is such a cute soap. I want some. <laughs> and I let her take a couple because she helped me pack almost 500 bars of soap in a single day. She is a serious trooper. So shout out to my mom. Thank you for helping me. I love you very, very much. She has also been a huge supporter 
ever since I got started. Everybody in my family has been, um, but my mom specifically, she's helped me with the fall collection. She helped me with this collection as well, and I could not do what I do without her. So, little shout out to her. And of course, shout out to you guys because I wouldn't be where I am today without you. But that is going to do it for me today. I will be back Sunday to talk about that new layering technique that I showed in my Winter Wonderland video, which is the last video that I posted. I very rarely do tutorial type videos on my channel now. Typically what my soaping videos are are, hey, come chat with me as I you know, make some soap and kind of talk through what I'm doing, but I did have a couple people a little bit upset that I did not share like a more in-depth version of what the layering technique was, so I am going to kind of go through that in my peppermint patty video, which is going to go up on Sunday. If you have not already, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I cannot wait to see you here this weekend. All right, bye!